Today I'm going to read Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss and then we're going to talk about food a little bit. I am Sam. Sam I am. That Sam I am, that Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you, could you in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I would not, could not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you in the dark? I would not, could not in the dark. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. Could you, would you, would you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Would you, could you on a boat? I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train, not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say, try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them, you will see. Looks like we've got a page missing, unfortunately. So we're just gonna keep moving forward. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do, I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat, and I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain, and in the dark, and on a train, and in a car, and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see? So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox. And I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a mouse, and I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. Babies are a lot like Sam. No, not like Sam, the other one. Yeah, Um. so 
babies obviously need to try new food and it could take them up to 10 to 15 times before they will actually eat it. Um, and when we introduce new foods to infants and young toddlers, we have to be careful to introduce just one at a time because um, there's a chance of dietary restrictions and allergies. But we also have to remember that, like I said before, it could take up to 10 to 15 times for the children, children to actually eat it. Um, taste buds do change over time, so your child might not like it now, but in a couple months, they might really like it. Um, so I went out and bought a couple of different new fruits that I've never tried because even as adults, we need to try new things. So I have an Asian pear, got a guava, um, this is the chow, 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 chow odi. Yep, that's what it is, chow odi. And then I got Minoza bananas. Um, you know, if you get things that look like something they've already eaten, it might be easier to get them to try it. Um, I also got colorful carrots. Everyone has had carrots. I'm pretty sure all the babies have had carrots. But sometimes if they don't eat something, all you have to do is change um, the way you're prepping it. So you might give them like little tiny slices of carrots. Sometimes if you cut them into circles and like cut them into half moons, then they might be more interested. Um, preparation and how you present it to them is all really important. You can literally just change one tiny thing and they could eat it. Like they might not like carrots. So you could try giving them a purple carrot. It looks different. They're more likely to try it. Um, another important thing to remember is that modeling children do as they see, you know, the saying monkey see monkey do. It's the same thing with children. Um, they might not trust something you're trying to give them, but if you, if you're eating it, they're more likely to want to eat it because, you know, you're the big, strong, you know, you're always taking care of them. Uh, so yeah, even I have to try new things. Like this banana, I can't get open. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's really important now. If you start trying new things with them now, um, they're more likely to continue trying new things and be adventurous when they're older. When it comes to food, you'll have to fight less. I was gonna try this banana, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I got ripe enough ones. Um, and I haven't washed the other fruit yet. So, so yeah, uh, I read the book Green Eggs and Ham because just, you know, like him, babies still sometimes just not want to try new things very very hesitant and then they end up loving it applesauce cereal it's all new textures to them when they first start and then when they're older they tend to get in this you know routine habit i know i like mac and cheese or their sweet potatoes and babies play games they know <laughs> so i decided that i can't encourage children and other people to eat new things if i myself can't model it um, so I failed, obviously, at eating the banana yesterday. After doing some more research about it, I realized that it really wasn't ripe enough. Um, my bad. Um, so, like I said, I did some more research, and I decided that I'm going to try the Asian pear. Um, the really cool thing about Asian pears is that you can cook it into things like pies and, uh, I don't know, whatever else you make with apples. Um, so the Asian pear is basically a hybrid of an apple pear um but with more benefits it has a lot more vitamins that both pears and apples don't have um and i learned how to pair them you just you can cut them like an apple um so i'm gonna try that it's actually really good mm. i see a lot of the children in the classroom would like that um it has like the texture of almost an apple um the taste that's really interesting not a bad interesting either just like does definitely has like a taste of a pear and an apple mixed together um and then i decided i was gonna try a bite of the guava which i'm very nervous about because the texture already feels weird to me and i have texture issues like i'm very sensory um yeah, I'm gonna be brave today. Um, 
Um, so it's good for people to try new things. It's not bad. I definitely don't think a lot of the kids would like it. It's really seedy and tart. Um, but also like sometimes when you cook something into a dish, your child might actually eat it. Um, like when I was doing cooking in my classroom, I made a lot of stuff with squash and apples. When I presented it in just cubes, they weren't as interested as when I pureed them together and made them into muffins or cookies. Um, so that's a good way to add new things into their diet as well. Like when I was a kid, I did not like green beans at all. And then I tried it in green bean casserole and now it's one of my favorite dishes at our family gatherings. Probably one of the only reasons I still like to go to those besides seeing family, obviously. Um, Sometimes us adults make things a lot more complicated than it has to be if we just put our, like if we just think as them, uh, rather than making this huge big deal out of something, it's really easy to put yourself in their shoes. Um, yeah, it, it's hard. Uh, another thing I will say is, especially right now with everything that's going on, it's really important to keep up on your fruits and vegetables and eating healthy um keep your immune system going strong uh lots of lots and lots of fruits and vegetables which shouldn't be a problem all of your children are super in to fruit and vegetables i don't think i've ever had a group that likes broccoli as much as they do um, which is really great so i'm gonna end the video there and i'm gonna get enjoy some more of the asian pear because it was really good um have a great rest of your day